The University of Minnesota Twin Cities is a very well-renowned college in the United States. Located on the Mississippi River, the U has many beautiful views for students to enjoy, as well as offering an excellent college education. Roughly 50,000 students attend the university, with 51% of these students being female. Although women outnumber males on campus, they still face troubles that affect their education and their time spent at college. Sometimes perceived as the inferior sex, females can experience greater difficulty in receiving their diploma, especially in the engineering and medical fields. 70% of all active physicians in 2010 were male, leaving the remaining 30% for female. What do you think intimidates women in higher education? Um, I think one of the hardest things that I found in my undergrad career was the fact that in my political science classes it was so dominated by males that it, it pushed me to really participate and kind of assert myself because it's like you're intimidating. Um, as a woman of color, what intimidates me as I pursue higher education and enter the workforce is how my identities are going to affect my success. So being a male in an engineering in the field, I've noticed that uh, in like the STEM classrooms, they're mostly male dominated. It's like a 90% men, 10% female. And then working this summer as a civil engineering intern, I noticed that uh, I was hired with a female employee. and she was like threatened by like being in a male dominated like office um i think um women if they were to pursue male dominated fields such as um, stem and technical uh, education such as like going into plumbing um and stuff like that they might be intimidated by that as they could be seen as an outsider and not welcome um, generally Have you or someone you know experienced injustice towards women? Like there's plenty of times where like I make a suggestion or like I think this is the answer and I can have the right answer, but that answer won't be validated until somebody else says it. And I know um, my, the residential director here, she says that that's something that she's experienced time and time again, um, just being in a space as a woman, um, having men invalidate your thoughts or just not necessarily seeing you as competent. So a girl I knew, uh, she's uh, in the electrical engineering field and her counselor would uh, explain to her how many females were left in the program compared to like the males and how many females dropped out and was encouraging like if it was too much work for her she you know, could drop the engineering program and there would be no disrespect or like harm, they would understand. She kind of felt like they were pushing the for her to drop out because it's a male-dominated field. Definitely. I was sitting in chemistry class and they would not listen to me. They had the computer, they had all the assignments. They seemed to know what they were doing, but I didn't know what they were doing. I was in class to learn and they wouldn't help me. How do you think women are treated differently from men here at the U? If I was to pursue medical school or graduate school like I plan to, I think that there, there's definitely a disadvantage. Um, I think that males are seen kind of more as like intelligent or like superior in that area. And I think as a female, you really have to prove yourself instead of just kind of having like a male just kind of walk on in. I, the men in science classes, they always seem to think that what, sometimes women don't belong here and that we're not as smart as men. Um, but that's not true. We just maybe have been oppressed for so long that we don't have the confidence to speak out and proclaim that we are right. Men take this as a sign of weakness. 
Despite the adversity women face in education, they are breaking new ground every day and decreasing the inequality gap. Graduates and professional school enrollment among women rose by 75% between 1970 through 1975. Also, women who do pursue a graduate degree do so at virtually the same rate, with men receiving their doctorates at the medium age of 31 and women at the age of 32. How can we overcome these inequalities as we pursue our careers? I think a good start to overcoming these inequalities as we pursue our careers is just educating ourselves and being self-aware about some of our own like microaggressions or like some of our own like prejudice prejudice that we hold towards other people that like we've been socialized to like growing up and I think sometimes people do it and they don't even realize that they're doing it. A majority of my teachers are male and I guess I really don't have an issue with it but I think it would be easier for like some subjects to definitely relate to like your same gender like my freshman seminar. Um, is, is like about college, sex, and society, and I think having a female teacher would definitely be um, easier to relate and like have a better perspective of from like my point of view. I think it starts at a younger age when you're like raising your children and you're kind of pushing your the boys to play with like fire trucks, the boys to play sports, and the girls to play with dolls, the girls to dance, kind of creating this inequality by not allowing them to do what they want to do and showing them that you know you separate from the males and that you should enjoy reading and men should enjoy like mathematics and like designing like engineering and all that sorts of like sciencey stuff and you picture girls in the arts so you create this inequality at a young age which creates into the future generations and it passes on it's like a never ending cycle if it's not broken. Um, the most important thing is just not caring about what other people um, portray as normal and not caring what other people think of you going into a certain field. Like, if you're a woman and you want to become a plumber, go do it. And if and don't let others tell you not to do it because it's not normal. Um, just do what you enjoy and if people are going to try to fight against you, fight back and just do it. In terms of high school graduation, college entry, and persistence to earning a college degree, young women now consistently outperform their male peers. This shows that women have worked incredibly hard to fight for equity and equality in the higher education system. They are proving their worth despite the hardships that have become roadblocks along the way.